Hello friend, now we are here on the topic soft. The soft are the rotating element which are used to power transmission. Now we are going to emphasize here on the basic design of the soft which we have categorized into three types. First, stressed due to the bending moment. Second, stressed due to the torsion moment. And the last one is your combined effect of both bending and torsion. Before moving further, let's have a glance on the diagram. This is a soft when it is going to be rotated about their on, on axis. It's having an theta that is your angle of twist. The T, we have the torsional equation here. T by J equal to tau by R equal to C theta by L. T is your torque applied. J is your polar moment. Then tau is your shear stress involved there. R is the radius of the soft. C is your modulus rigidity of the soft. Theta is your angle of twist. And L is your length of the shaft. Now come on the first type. We are here on the first stress due to the bending moment. Now first of all make yourself very confident that we have the two different sorts of shaft material. First is your solid, second is your hollow. Now if we have the solid the diameter should be single that is a small d. If we have a hollow we have the two diameter inner and outer. It is represented by the di and do. Now for the single the area is your pi by 4 d square i that is the moment of inertia this is your pi by 64 d key power 4 but whenever you're talking about the hollow a is your pi by 4 outer dia square minus inner dia square and the i is your pi by 64 outer dia 4 minus inner dia 4 this is your first stresses due to the bending moment now dear we are going for the the for the solid and for the hollow now dear for the solid we have equation m upon i equal to sigma upon y. We have already mentioned that the bending equation. i is known to us on putting the value for the solid. We will able to find out the moment that is pi by 32 sigma v into d q. Now from this equation for the solid we are going to find out the small d. Now but if the scenario is going for the hollow. For the hollow m upon pi by 64 d o 4 minus d i 4 already mentioned in the above is equal to sigma v upon outer dia by 2 do by 2 here the m is your pi by 32 do 4 minus di 4 upon do into sigma v from this equation do and di will be easily find out so these all are from the first type now we are moving on the second the stress due to the torsional load now as we have mentioned the torsional equation t upon i equal to tau by r equal to c theta by L. Now dear, T by J equal to tau by R. Now, first of all, J is your polar moment. For the both solid and the hollow, the values are such a respective. For the solid, pi by 32 d cube. Why? Because it's a, it's a ratio of the I upon R. I is your pi by 64 d cube power 4 upon R is your d by 2. So the scenario is going to be changed. Pi by 32 d cube power cube. In the case of hollow, the pi by 32 d o 4 minus d i 4. Now let's proceed. On putting the value here for the solid t upon j equal to tau by r, we have here t upon pi by 32 d key power 4 equal to tau into d by 2. The final equation for the solid is your t equal to pi by 16 d cube into tau. From here, we are going to calculate the small d diameter of the shaft. But if it is a hollow, my dear friend, the formula is going to be changed t equal to pi by 32 within a bracket d o 4 minus d i 4 where d o is your outer diameter d i is your inner diameter so if the formula is going to be changed t equal to pi by 6 into tau into d o 4 minus d i 4 divided by d o multiplied so this uh, from this equation we are going to uh, calculate the d i and d o these are the second one now the biggest consideration for the design is your combined form in the combined effect, we have always going to consider two theories of failure. The failure number one is your MSST, that is maximum shear stress theory. And if you are talking about the second theory here, that is your MNST, maximum normal stress theory. Now, we are going to consider the brief about the two different theories. Now, if you are going to consider the first one, MSST, in the MSST here, the term x should be always equal to 1 by 2 within a bracket under root of sigma b square plus 4 tau square. Sigma b is your bending, tau is your torsion. 
Now on putting the value as we have already known by these two value from the previous two conditions sigma v equal to 32 m upon pi d cube putting here and the second value tau equal to 16 p upon pi d cube putting here we will come to the conclusion that the tau max should be equal to the 16 pi d cube within a bracket m square plus t square. Now make this m square plus t square in the solitary manner remaining forces should be moved there so we have here pi by 16 d cube into tau max should be equal to under root of m square plus t square which is also known as equivalent twisting moment denoted by t e this is come by the mean of first theory that is m s st now we are going for the second theory let's consider m and st in the case of m and st the formula is going to be find out for the sigma v max that is tau, uh, sigma v max is equal to 1 by 2 within a bracket sigma v plus under root of sigma v square plus 4 tau square. Again putting the same value here and taking the consideration the common factor we are here sigma v max equal to 32 pi d cube within a bracket 1 by 2 bracket open m plus under root of m square plus t square. Don't forget this is your t e now dear m plus t e that will be become your m e. That is known as equivalent banding moment and the final equation will be yours pi by 32 d cube into sigma v max should be equal to m e is equal to 1 by 2 within a bracket m plus under root of m square plus t square and here from these two theories those having the higher diameter we are going to consider that is the diameter of the soft so these all are from the solid stay tuned for the for the video thank you very much